And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some anti-burn. That's right, discard burn is kind of everywhere. It's the deck that we played against a ton yesterday after the recent changes to Make It Rain and Lee Sin that went live yesterday. And so we're going to bring back this fan favorite. Built this deck, oh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, basically just to, to face burn because of all of the discard burn and uh, bilge water, like pirate burn and stuff like that. And that's what this deck's supposed to do. It's supposed to be able to beat the burn decks. Whether or not we beat the other decks, who knows. Um, but we're going to defeat the burn deck. So if, you, if you're tired of losing to all the aggro, um, yeah, give this one a shot. So basically what we got going on here, the reason why is because we have a lot of Nexus healing. That's what we're, we're combining Targon and Shadow Isles with all the Nexus healing. So we have Guiding Touch, we have Unspeakable Horror and Vile Feast, three copies of each that have the Drain one. Two copies of Grass the Undying, which are perfect at killing um, Dravens and Jinxes. Uh, we have three Star Shapings <laughs> that... You know, give you some more Nexus healing and three Withering Whales to help clear things up. So lots of ways to do Nexus healing. Lots of ways to kill small units and stop decks from going wide. Our champions are also really good blockers. Leona being a 3-5, Thresh being a 3-6. Both great blockers. Um, so they're, they're in here as our champions. Um, and then basically what we're relying on for our late game is some Invoke. Um, Solari Priestess gets to invoke, Star Shaping gets to invoke. Uh, we're relying on that, um, you know, mostly for our late game. Uh, you know, but not worried too much about the late game. Basically just wanting to stop aggro in its tracks. Um, that's what that's what our deck's doing. We got like Solari Soldier, Solari Shield Bear are just awesome, awesome blockers. So they're in here as three ofs as well. And of course, they're, they're um, part of our Daybreak. Um, stuff with Leona and then Robin also being another uh, Daybreak card for leveling up Leona. All right, so that's our deck. Usually play some longer games. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked, and let's see how we do. Yeah, the Mobilized Dragon deck, Choo Choo. I like that one, too. That uh, ramping um, Draven Darius with Targon. That looks like my deck. And by my deck, I mean Cabo's deck. All right, we're going to mulligan the star shaping. I kind of want to keep Grasp and Vengeance both. Grasp taking down a Draven. Vengeance taking down a Darius. Shield Bear. All right, definitely not my list. I do not play House Fighter. Awesome, good job, Michael. Playing Discard Jinx. Yeah, Discard Jinx is, is a great deck. That's what our deck here is built to <laughs> fight Discard Jinx. All right, so I have two. Not sway me. I have two Vengeance and two Grasp the Undying, so we're not drawing any more of either of those two. Hmm, three pair. We do have another star shaping, so we could get another one of those. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. We're playing against Draven Darius, Targon at Noxus. Follow the horizon. Bill Cascade's awesome. Kind of have to play this right now so we use our mana effectively. Clad in shining sunlight. Hmm. Let's just pass. See, Grasp just uses my mana a lot better than just playing the one mana card. Or next turn I can have like one mana card plus star shaping. Yeah. Keep them from getting a gem.
So do we want to go star shaping or solari priestess? I think I want to go star shaping. No, we'll just go priestess. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So my plan is like so vengeance next turn. Um, like so, I'm probably passing here. I'm probably not playing Solari Soldier. Uh, I guess we're playing Solari Soldier now against three two. All right, so I'll vengeance for that thing. My axe is ready. Or vengeance for that thing. I guess I should have let them attack. Alright, let's see. Believe or burn. Block, block. We have another Pale Cascade. Gross. not expecting them to play the gem right away. Mm. So I, I wanted to play Meteor Shower also, but I guess we're just going to go with this. Seeing this crowd favorite. Alright, what else we got? Alright, not much. Living Legend sounds pretty good. I'll take that one. And I'm going to pass. Let's see what they do. They're also just passing to me. You passing to me? You passing to me? What are their four cards in hand? Are they just not casting a single one? All right, so one was Solari Soldier. I'm wondering, wondering what these cards are. They're just not playing at all. You think they have decisive maneuver? That's like what stun something, give your other things plus two plus zero. Decimate. I can't play these things because of Darius. Okay, because like if, if they had if they were holding you know if they had another card that was Darius. So they played two decimates. They can't have they can only have one more. Hopefully they don't have any more. I'm getting pretty close to being out of Nexus healing. My axe is ready. I cannot have atrocity. Oh, right. I can't just play Robin right now. Oh, I, I might have just messed that up. So we're going to try Thrash plus Meteor Shower to kill this thing.
<clears throat> okay. Still going. I would like to play Supernova here. Is that last card like the third Darius? That would kill me. I have to be worried about that. I should have just played the Supernova. I should have just played that because I guess Kava's been saying decisive maneuver. So like this block with decisive maneuver kills me. So I, I shouldn't have played this 5-5 five because five, I am playing into decisive maneuver pretty bad here. Um, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. I don't think I should have played these Robins. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Please don't have Decimate. Okay. Alright, good. I like the Unspeakable Horror draw. I was gonna say we had we had five more Unspeakable Horror slash Vile Feast. Like five of our 19 cards were those two things <laughs> for some Nexus healing, so I'm glad we found one. Alright, growing up this uh, thing to be a 5-5 lifesteal. Decisive maneuver. So if I that was their last card. So if I would have blocked, um, if I would have blocked the overwhelm, I would have died. Last turn. So there we go, GG's. Wanna know? Not that I know of. Ooh. This could be bad. We're gonna have to get some we're gonna have to get some obliterate. Right, so they're gonna be the undying. Um yeah, we're gonna need to find some obliterate. Let's get rid of these two. So we're gonna need like, cause we need like Solari Soldier, or not Sol sorry, so, uh, the three mana Solari card. That's the one I want. I want the Invoke Solari. I want the five mana Invoke. I want some Invoke stuff. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. It's also possible they do not draw the Undying. That would be cool. Please don't have Blighted Caretaker. And yeah, Blighted Caretaker would be a big problem. Alright, I guess we get that. Not so bad right now. Solari Priestess. That's the card I want. I want Solari Priestess. Uh, we also have a Sunburst in here. I wish this Vengeance was Sunburst. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. The sun's splendor revealed. Some obliterate. Uh, 
My deck built on killing a bunch of small things. <laughs> not good against the Undying. Oh, come on. They don't have to have three Undyings, though. You could just not draw the Undyings. That is an option. Okay, got a Sunburst. I can kill one of these. At least we have Nexus healing, so we can take damage. I guess that's a thing. I'm, so what I'm worried about here is I'm worried about playing Sunburst, and then they play Glimpse Beyond. Glimpse Beyond is what I'm worried about. But also, like they have like six things, so like they can't they can't even play another unit right now. I'm gonna just play this. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. Sun Guardian. It's like if they want to play other units, they have to obliterate something here. Yeah, I, mean, I guess we just do this. I'm honestly really surprised they're not killing the Undying. But I guess they want this thing to be a 4-3. So they have two 3-3s three and a 4-3. We can handle 3-3s three threes and 4-3s. Threes. It's these, the Undyings, that are much more difficult to handle. This is obviously a huge problem. This vulnerable is permanent. That was pretty, pretty good for them. No, I, yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do against Citrus Courier. I don't want them to have Citrus Courier. I hope they don't. I hope they just pass to me. Good. So I'm stunning the thing that I'm planning on sunbursting. Yuck. Because I don't think any of these cards would have really been a, a big problem at all except for the Undying. But that's the problem is they had three the Undyings, you know, two with the Chronicler. So, like, these have Vulnerable, they would have just challenged them with the Undyings anyway. Problem is, I'm dead. I need 10 mana. Right? Let's see. Three. So it's not like saving those back to block would have been better, because they would have just challenged them with a 2-1 and a 3-3. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. Alright. GG's Undying. You won this one. All right, good news, not the Undying. Bad news, not an aggro deck. Let's lead with this. Solari Shield Bear. I love the Solari Priestess. Devotion through battle. Definitely one of our, one of our best cards. Priestess is probably a card that I want to see just in every single matchup. It's probably just going to be one of the most important cards for us. Sunlight. 
moonlight guide you, my brethren. Witness glory! <laughs> Alright, well, good hand for them. Turn 4, Trundle. I'm really hoping no troll chant also, and we get to kill the Weirding Stones. Alright. So that's a start for us. Slow them back down. Bow to your king! I'll take the four. I want more bodies in play for Thresh. For Thresh dying. That's not good. I just went from five mana to eight mana in one turn. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite the, the heavens. Lines. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> it's good to be the king. A hey, good hand. Turn three ramp. Turn four trundle. Turn five double ramp. I'm not sure if I should be challenging the 08 with just like one of the three power things. Get it closer to dying. <laughs> Why not? Turn 4 Trundle and turn 6 Infinite Mind Splitter. Not bad. Get ready for a beat down. This is what we were talking about before. This deck that I currently am playing is designed to be able to defeat. Burn. Not necessarily the Undying or Trundle. Wow. <laughs> the card I wanted, Solari Priestess. They're just shoving it in my face. I'm like, yeah, hey, we have we have Solari Priestess over here. It's pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah, I would. I would have loved to have fallen combat with my Solari Priestess. That would have been nice. All right, not finding any obliterates. Next game. This is but one sunset. Okay, this is. I think we have, we have a better chance than against Trundle with this. We don't really need the Leona. I just, you know, Solari Priestess can get us some Obliterate. Star Shaping gets us Obliterate. Glimpse Beyond sacrifices our Solari Priestess before they kill it with their Fiora. So I like all these. Cause they, they're going to be just, you know, an all-in Fiora deck, so we don't really want to play units out and help them kill stuff. Except for Solari Priestess. And good, we want to find Obliterates with it. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. By my honor, you must die. So they can have, you know, like single combat. They can have like the fight cards here. I I hope not. I 
really need a 5 mana 5-5 five, five challenger. I guess it's just written in stars. I just don't really want the other two. Fioras. So while I can fall in combat this Fiora, it may be good to let this Fiora get a kill or two first before falling combat -ing it. If that makes sense. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. So yeah, let's get them to invest some resources. Into their Fior this Fiora first. Strike quickly, strike. Right, playing Robin doesn't get rid of a card in hand. All right, we'll just. We'll play Robin. Daylight, everlasting. Good. Your weapon, Sunwood. So I have ten cards in hand, but so many of these cards just replace themselves if I cast them. Are you going to go on Yielding Spirit? Nope. Still don't want any of these cards. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. All I want Strength is a Falling Common. Yeah, Obliterating does kill through Unyielding, yes. So that was, that was kind of my plan was to test them, see if they would have Unyielding Spirit. And then, you know, go go for Falling Comet later. This is a pretty, yeah, this is a pretty bad plan against three mana Pump Spell and Judgment. Like, Judgment takes 8 mana, so they have 3 mana otherwise. I don't think they're going to have 3 mana Pump Spell in Judgment. Oh, never mind. They are. I forgot about Sharp Sight. I just forgot about that card. Okay, good. They're not casting Judgment. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just thinking about the, like, Repost, Fury, um, all that kind of stuff. Like, they're all 4 mana Pump Spells. I just didn't think about that card. I will put I don't think it's very likely that the Grass of the Undying kills the Fiora. So I'm just gonna kill my own thing. This is about to be its second thing to kill. I have no equal. Always two steps ahead. Still no obliterate? 
We haven't done very good with finding obliterate stuff. I saw one obliterate card with all those. Alright, so we need to get rid of one more Fiora. It is reset. They do have to kill four things again. Even though Fiora's leveled up, it does have to kill four things. At least I got one Obliterate card. I guess I can't complain too much. Alright, so there's the Unyielding Spirit. I need to find something like a sunburst. This one has the opportunity to kill two things. But if, I, if I don't play another unit, it can't kill another unit. There we go, there's sunburst. This is why Sunburst is great. Alright, so there we go. That's game. Scouts. Alright. Not exactly a burn deck. <laughs> but yeah, so we've played this deck twice now. Ten games. And we've played against zero burn. No discard burn. No pirate burn. The two, like, the most popular decks. You wouldn't think so, though, watching these. All right, we got Thresh, we got Sunburst. Shield Bear is a good blocker, Unspeakable Horror is cool. I guess we don't really need Sunburst. Maybe we don't really need Thresh either. No, let's keep Thresh. So I wonder if this is, like, a better tournament deck than, like, normal deck. Because you know that people are going to be playing those burn decks in tournaments. And so you can have this to specifically match up against burn decks. Like where, because most people do like the tournaments of like the play three decks. And you ban one. And so you can like ban like the War Mother's Call deck. And then they probably have like a couple of aggro decks besides that. So they can kill the 1 1 with the protege, but still, that, you know, we're basically killing the Fleet Feather Tracker and then turning protege into being a 2 3. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to turn both these into 2-3s. Now these being two threes, they are easier for Thresh to challenge. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. Harvey, oh. yes, you. Could see this being repost. We have unspeakable horror to stop the barrier. What's up, Devil? Trade those. Misfortune's really good. I'll take that trade. Keep slowing them down. I realized your tie was missing. Well, thank you so much for the sub. You are our first sub of the day. 
Actually, looks like I, I didn't change that one out of five from yesterday. We had one yesterday, so there we go. Perfect. One out of five again today. All right. Quinn is 3-4. So we could Sunburst Quinn. And then they have all this stuff attacking. Or I just play Robin. You know, so like I think these are the two options. Sunburst Robin. Uh, I guess if I go Withering Whale... Like, what are they going to do against Robin? Robin just seems really good here, too. They have the 2-1 the challenge, my 3-2. This thing kills this thing. But they can't really attack with anything else. I don't really know what they're going to do against Robin. Man, Eclipse Dragon is awesome. You get to create this from Robin, and you can create this from Unspeakable Horror. Just have all these ways to create Eclipse Dragons. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if I, yeah, Ranger's Resolve, yeah, if I would go with the Whale line, Ranger's Resolve would be pretty rough. Let's just pass. One banner, one destiny. Uh, looks like they have Rally. Okay. We're gonna need to play around Rally. Always forward. I could go double Withering Whale. What if we went double Withering Whale? I can't really do one at a time if I want to save, like, my 3-2 and stuff. Like, I'd want to do the two damage to these. It's pro that's not worth it. Nah, that's not worth it. So think about letting this hit me and then playing Guiding Touch and then playing Eclipse Dragon, where we have both Daybreak and Nightfall. But then again, they get to like play more things. They have a rally. Could be killing me. I won't have like any other defense. Um. But we're at 19. Like, they're probably not killing me from 19, right? Are you a dragon? You're a dragon. Was this... Oh, okay, the next Daybreak or Celestial unit you play costs two less. Alright, cool. We're gonna have either of those for two less. Demacian needs heroes. Right. Maybe we are taking 19. Who does not know the name and then they rally. Oh my gosh, poor opponent. You already had the attack token. They just wasted a rally. Oh, I feel so bad for them. I don't have like a good emote for her. I'm sorry, I feel bad for you. Yeah, they messed that up. That's too bad. I wish I had a sad Poro emote or something. Mistakes were made. Alright, so we ended up going 3-2 and two and still not a time against Burn. The game's too scared. It's too scared to pair us against Burn. Yeah, they're they're too scared. <laughs> what would happen? Um, <clears throat> so there's there's our anti-burn deck. Uh, went three and two, even against the non-burns. You know, like we like Trundle. You know, like that that hand that that War Mother's player had of you know like turn four Trundle. We we still kill their ramp thing. Then they double ramp on turn five, turn six mind splitter, and then another mind splitter. You know, like that's. We're not going to really be beating that. And then, you know, like the triple undying with, you know, get, give your stuff vulnerable, triple the undying, Riptide Rex. Like, that's a huge problem, too. So, like, you know, the undying and fast ramp, those are going to be weaknesses to our decks. But all these decks that are trying to attack, which there are a lot of them, I feel pretty good about our deck against all of those kind of things. So if you like playing, you know, a slower control deck, if you like beating up aggro, uh, you know, give this deck a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Sunburst really performed well. It really overperformed 
honestly. And I, I feel like that this should be a two of instead of Vengeance being a two of. Um, it, it performed great. I think I would probably want to change that, honestly. Sunburst was, was really clutch. Um, yeah, I think I would want to go that way moving forward. But anyway, there we go. That's it. That's Anti-Burn. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always like seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.